MTG coming out with another episode of Historic Brawl, where we go through multiple quote unquote commanders through Historic Brawl on Arena to see how well they can actually overall play out. Hopefully, my audio is recording properly and it's not super off like it was the other day. Because that happens all the time. So let's get right into this one. We have on this episode, we have Analia de Arnis. It is a party build where basically we are trying to assemble a party. And then from there, we are going to buff the entire team as much as possible and get a lot of value over the party mechanic. Over the years, party wasn't that great in all honesty. So like Analia being an Orzov, they have been a lot more support more recently with the party mechanic. So this is pretty cool. So we're pretty stoked about that. And then the usual dream, we're gonna play five games. Make sure I apply all those styles and so get the new one there. With the typical five games, see how well it does out. I'm gonna go with a prediction of like one and four, because again, Nalia is so so when it comes to the decks because it is the party mechanic, and it's not that easy to achieve parties, but we'll definitely see how that plays out. Let's get right into it, reload all the overlays, and let's get into those games. Ooh, okay, we're facing Ishin, two as one, two heavens as one. Uh, opening hand, I'm gonna keep it just because I have the Deafening Silence, and Deafening Silence definitely slows things down, but again, we are facing another like potential creature based build, so I do have a turn one and a turn two. Kind of what I want to see. We'll just try it out. Make sure I get the right one down to start off with. They start with that. Put down the hollow, uh, the deafening silence. They played a blood, uh, self first mire on turn one. Uh, no turn two, which is a good thing to see. So we'll just get this through there. It's good when they have no turn one or turn two play. That really slows things down quite a bit. Let's get this over here. Pop that. All right, T Pro. That'll be good for later, but there's probably going to be some removal. So I'm going to get down uh, the Season Hollow Bleed and just pass from there. Uh, no, I'm going to get this out there too. Just because it makes the most sense to get it out there right where away, you know? And we have the Savai. Are they not playing anything? Uh, maybe not. All right, let's get down that. Nothing on the top. Okay. Are they both those dragon? No. So party's at two. Land on top. That's tap right there. I'm assuming Ishin's got to come down. Well, soon anyway. Open this up a little bit more. They're really thinking about what to play, you know? I'm assuming the machine's gonna come down, but if whatever creature they were to cast, the Ryu. Alright, so I'm just gonna journey to Oblivion. Alright, I do have this on top. All right, get that going. Still no full party, but this way I have something to work with. I, I should have tapped down the Citadel again. That was my bet on that one. All right. I can tap it. If they do get a creature out, I can tap it down with the Molrido Patrol. another land on the top which is unfortunate private information only you can see this card I they're thinking though yeah so Ishin is the Mardu commander that came out more recently in the Kamigawa set creature attacking cause an ability to trigger it were to trigger twice so basically it has the option of doing multiple attacks in a sense. Oh, we got swords. 
tap this, get this there. Let's swing in. Yeah, they just scooped from there. All right, I want to know. Kind of assumed that was going to happen with that one because they really want to play anything for the first few turns. I do believe that potentially the deafening silence put them through, but I don't know if it would. So here we go. Game number two, we are facing another Ghost Shintai. I've been seeing a lot of the Ghost Shintais more recently. Like I said, it's a very, very good commander. Opening hand, turn one, two. I'm going to scry one. Hopefully I can get this out there. Get something off the top. The Ghost Shintai is a phenomenal card because basically once you get to a certain point, the Ghost Shintai just like goes off. Put that, put that on top. Almost lines up. All right, let's do. Don't know how to adjust that out. Get this there. Has line up twitch. Uh, get that there, get this out there, and just pass the turn. Use a different browser, check your display drivers, Super. hardware acceleration. I don't know, no blocks. I need to figure that out from there. Go down our niece. A warrior. Get down Trepid. Make a warrior. Right, that's tapped. All right, on top we have a glass casket, which we could use on the star field. Alright, I don't think they have another. They did get a land off of that. Like, I do have two removal options, which is pretty good. Alright, land on top. Let's get this on this. Remove this. They're just digging, so they're, they're looking for lands, probably. Alright, I do have Facelift's Agent next. Fills that down, that's fine. Alright, Ghost Shintai comes down, makes a little dude. Yep. Stonework pack piece on top. They have a removal. Did they? Yeah, they did. I kind of want this to die. As I get buff up to Lazal. I'll probably just let it resolve though. Like I've gone wide enough, you know. Alright, kills the pack. Problem is that Honda's gonna just like wreck house. Makes five dudes. Like a warrior. No, I'll just do nothing there. No, let's just go jump that. Doesn't make any difference for that. Uh, 
that comes back at least. Uh, I have like one save. Alright, Sanctum of Stonefangs, it's probably going to be game at that point, unless I can get some kind of removal. Yeah. Just because I said that's game. And I got a, bu a bunch of the little ones. I gotta wipe the board a little bit, but they still have a bajillion dudes. That's gonna kill Lazelle. I right, lose a few. Right, cycles out of Ragoom Trium. Yeah, I'll chump this. Like seven. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna just kill that off very easily. It makes the most sense. And just jump off of that. Nope. Right. So I'm going to borrow that a second for stream services. Uh, audio, audio, audio. We're facing a Hinata Dawn Crown. Let's go for that one. Uh, opening hands, not good. Mull this, not any better. Let's this tap tapped. All right, better. Let's put that there. I just uh, got the shine tapped. I don't need to worry about the mana. Alright. Space camp. Ta untapped, actually. Did not realize that. I'll just get the Intrepid Adversary out there. I don't have the option to, like... They have a kill spell instantly. Well, it's good that I didn't play Nalia. That's a positive, you know? This is probably going to be a very control-based deck, you know? Let's get Nalia out there. I do have the Luminarch Aspirant on top, but I also have the regular Cohorts. But they're probably going to want to cast on Hanada right now. Yeah, they cast on Hanada. I don't have black black. Oh, the kicker is that. Oh, never mind. Totally messed that play up. I'm sitting here thinking like it's gonna be like way way more. You know. All right, don't swing in. Could have probably be a lot of removal in a Hanada deck.
So that's going to be human rogue. Oh, okay. I'll just kill it now. Alright. Let's go to the next one. One, two. Yeah, there's no way. Once you start that, I have no way to come back from that thing. It just it just does off. Alright, where's my stream? All right, open this up a little bit more. Viewers in chat doesn't show who's in my chat or anything. Another Goshinta. I was saying, like you see this Goshinta like all the time now, you know. Uh, opening hand. I go with this. Yeah, I go first. So turn one, architect or arc. Priest. And then turn two. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I gotta remember to do this. Give the buff to that bro. Reason being is it's persistently gotta go there over again. Alright. So if I don't get a land next turn, I wanna get a land and play the Rumor Gather. So then I can obviously buff up the Tenacious again. It did not. I want to give that to that. So I got to wait for that. Right, get this there. Buff to that. I'll attack. I gotta just block the Angel Unity, but. I'm dying to get the uh, Patriot's hum uh, Humiliation on the Goshentai. That'd be so amazing. It really will be. Alright, Sit This comes down early. Interesting. All right, Lotus Cobra. Let's just do this. Still no land. Like, I obviously want to play something, but when you have no land, you can't do anything. <laughs> All right, so that's an instant or no? Yeah, it's an instant. I'm hoping... Let's see. Because so if they can get the Goshintai down with the Patriars, yeah, whatever it's called, that'll slow down it entirely. What are they thinking, though? Ah, they scooped. All right, two two. All right, go record. Two and two. Let's see, what we get for the third one. What is everyone up to today? Hope everyone's doing quite well. Remember to like, share, subscribe if you're seeing this on the YouTube, and if you're watching this on the Twitch, please follow me. It means a lot. <laughs> I gotta make sure my audio lines up for something because I know the audio for a fact is not lining up to anything and I need to figure out how to get that to go through. All right, we have a St. Nick playing Chetterfang. And one, two, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go with this. Very similar to the uh, first game we're playing. Get out the pupil, turn two, the twin blade, twin blade, twin blade. All right, we got that too, which is good. Those changelings can be anything, which is what I want to say. Right, properties on this. All right, use device. Okay, apply that. Okay, maybe that'll make it better. 
Like I said, remove t the timestamps. On stream, they are not lined up and in sync. Need to adjust in post. Like I have to line up. Uh, next turn. Let's get this out there. Yeah, they did a removal on the Twin Blade Geist. Uh, next one. Yeah, I'll do this. Rumor Gatherer makes a thing. Changing Outcast makes a thing. Scry to the bottom. Wait, no. Yeah, bottom. One of the land. And then draw. Alright, so next turn I have exactly what I need. Twitch. Oh, I never noticed that lag. Well, that's good that that uh, Mike didn't notice any of the lag, which is good. That's good. My girl is saying it's close, but not exact. Right now. All right, I'm gonna filter out the Terra Morphing a second. Get down the Nalia. I'm assuming they're gonna activate. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought she could be in my mind, but I'm flying to see before I'm flying. It's still better sense. It's just inputs. Is it just from inputs like voice or the entire? Oh, it's just the audio. My mic. It's almost like Ventriloquist style. If that makes sense. All right, uh, resolve this. So do this. Removing a wizard though, it's unfortunate. No, I still have a wizard, okay. So let's do that comes down full four. Yeah, they're gonna kill that. Because the changeling's the right yeah, the right choice. Uh, buff this. And then swing house. The thing is, like, right now. You gonna double chomp? Is that what you're doing? Uh, double chomp. Okay. You have vigilance too on top of it? I always forget about that. What gives vigilance? Oh, they just stay themselves at vigilance. Look what am I talking about here? Alright, they're searching for probably a, a removal or something, like a wrath. So this one I'll give double strike to probably the Nalia. Lost three life from that. Yeah, boom. All right, sweet. That was a good one. So ended up at three and two. Pretty fast games in all honesty. It was only a good half hour. Uh, let's go to the quick review and give you my little opinion on it. Let me do a little quick little pause. I'll go Dex. Analia. Open that up. 
Overall, I didn't see much of the overall deck itself. So I definitely gonna need to get more play out of the Nalia itself. It it works better than I've seen Party to be for a while now, you know? So overall, reasonable deck, but I definitely would not put it at like a top tier level at all. Like C plus, B minus range. Pretty cool deck though, in all honesty, we can get that counter on there and buff the entire team that quickly is pretty insane. I do wish Nalia herself counted as all the different types. That would make it so much more open-ended, but definitely pretty fun to play.